y'all. What's up? It's your girl Devon Fam here. And today we are going to be doing a video for my Virgos, okay? And I'm just checking them off, you guys, in order. First, I'm going to get your current energy for my Virgos. Y'all, excuse my baby girl in the background. She's being great, as usual. You guys could be going through a spiritual awakening right now. Um, you guys are being asked to lean on your inner spirit gods. It's okay to be alone. Okay. What is my Virgo's current energy? I'm getting strongly that some of you may need to learn to be alone. With the three of spring, you guys, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So I feel like you guys may have had to cut some things loose in order to get to where you're going. And I feel like maybe you guys could be in a stagnant energy because of the people, places, or things that you guys may have had to cut loose. So let me get um, some more energy on what is going on for my Virgos. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What advice do you have for my Virgos in their current situation for the month of March? The world. So you guys are being divinely guided. You guys are um, being gifted with money, luck, new opportunities in the palm of your hand. But I feel like you guys could be in a stagnant energy. Like it may not be wanting to move forward, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me two more cards regarding my Virgo's energy. Or four. Hold on, let's see. What do we have here? The Five of Pentacles, the Fool, <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Cups. You guys, I feel like y'all are waiting for your ships to come in. Let me get one more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One more, please. Okay, so you guys are definitely needing to cut away some stuff. You guys have five, two fives out here, which signifies change. You guys, um, all that is lost is not lost, okay? So you guys need to stop looking back to, um, stop looking back to the past and focus more on your present. I feel like you guys are focused more on something or someone that you may have lost along the way. And you're not seeing with this Nine of Cups everything that you have, the potential that you have before you with this full card, okay? You guys have good friends. You guys have happiness needing to take a giant leap forward. With the zero, some of you are having to start over, completely over. With this world card, that is a signification of a new beginning, you guys. Okay, you guys are being um, guided towards a new beginning, but you guys are uh, having issues letting it go. Okay, y'all give me just a second. Let me make my baby girl a bottle real quick. Hold on. All right, you guys, sorry about that. So I feel like there's something that you guys are needing to release. Um, there's delays around your money in regards to the situation that you guys are needing to release. Yeah, this Ten of Swords energy, something that served you guys no purpose in the past. Okay, exactly. Something, and this is, uh, this is really heavily towards my males, my emperors, whoever this was. Okay, whoever this person was, it took you out of your emperor status. It has you guys left questioning yourself and your future it has you so stuck in the past that you're not realizing what you guys have to come in the future okay and you guys are emperors so you guys are highly intuitive you could be a, a, a virgo taurus capricorn or it could be for a cross watcher someone that you guys are dealing with but somebody is highly intuitive clarify this world card Hold on, there's a card sticking out here. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, exactly. 
and the ace of pentacles exactly that is your energy you guys have exactly everything you need to manifest okay with this ace of pentacles and the ace of wands clarifying the world card so you guys are standing in your power but the only thing that's holding you back is your resistance okay clarify this five of pentacles what are these delays with my Taurus virgo capricorn and it's this family, whatever the situation was, it was a false situation. This Ten of Cups came out in reverse. Whatever you thought this was, it was not bringing you guys fortune. It was not bringing you love. It was not bringing you guys money. If anything, it was hurting your situation, okay? And you guys are being asked to start over and take a leap of faith. Clarify this full card exactly and when you guys do when you guys look to see what is right around the corner you guys step right back in to your emperor energy you guys are now back in authority you guys are now being the leaders that spirit had um intended for you guys to be because look with this dog right here he's not gonna let you this is your spirit god He's not about to let you guys walk off this cliff. He is warning you, if you take another step, you're going to fall. They are not going to let you guys fall. They are telling you to put your total trust and faith in them. Quit crying over spilt milk because with this star card that was in the reverse, you guys are not living through your higher selves. Instead, you guys are focused on these cups that are spilt in front of you and you're not even focused on what you still have beside you. You guys could be pushing away people, friends, your lover, your true soulmate. Some of you are pushing away somebody that was truly there for you, but you are too busy crying over what was lost. Maybe your emotions, your feelings, that is for somebody exactly with the six of cups a lot of you are reminiscing to what you feel like this relationship should be or could be okay but what you need to focus on is what is here and now in the present because you guys are pushing away the lovers with this chariot in reverse whoever this person is that you guys are wanting to embrace you are pushing them the other way with this chariot in reverse okay Woo, that was a mouthful, and I didn't even clarify these bottom three. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. So we're just going to use this other deck to clarify these bottom cards, and then we're going to wrap this up, you guys. <clears throat> what is the sign of cups for my Virgos? The seven of autumn. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps a prudent investment of time or money so i feel like for some of you spirit may be asking you guys to take a leap of faith maybe invest in a business maybe invest in a project um some sort of finances that you guys are being asked to come up off of instead of holding on to um because even though the four of pentacles is not out here i feel like this is in kind of the four of pentacles energy like you guys may be being um wanting to hold on to your money um, in every single penny but what spirit is saying in order to blossom in order to bloom you guys are needing to open up okay open up do not be afraid to invest in yourselves yeah with this two of spring you guys are going to have options okay a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnering with others who share your dreams great progress being made some of you guys are going to have to learn how to open up to others some of you are bullheaded and you are used to doing things alone you're going to have to open up and learn how to cooperate with others regarding your finances and regarding advice and self-criticism okay but it is instructive criticism is what spirit is saying clarify this page of cups for my virgos please you guys could have a lot that you want to say that you feel like you're not being able to get out. With the sun, the empress, the, um, let's see. This is the knight of swords in reverse. I feel like some of you guys want, um, this could be you or this could be the person you're dealing with. They may not be as uh, mature as you. They are still in 
their um, knight energy and not their king energy. And for the ladies that I'm talking to, um, to my lady Virgos, you all are in your pre your um, empress energy. So it's like you're on your way, but whoever you guys are dealing with, they're not yet mature enough to follow you guys to go where you guys are going, if that is making sense. Exactly, because with this Queen of Swords to my Empresses, you are cutting these people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You guys are cutting them loose because you guys are ready for sun. You guys are ready for the joy. You guys are ready for an adventure, okay? Plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. So I feel like with this page of cups here, I feel like a lot of my ladies, you guys were being tired of being taken advantage of. Like y'all were just being taken for granted. Like I, I feel like you guys are ready. You know your worth now. You know exactly what you're worth and you're not going to accept anything less than being the beautiful empress that you are. And I, I believe it's the same for my emperors. But my emperors are having a little bit more trouble stepping up and opening up to their energy. Because you guys, um, you guys are having trouble letting certain people go, I'm getting in particularly. Um, you guys can purchase a personal read. Just check the uh, description box down below for that information. And they are a lot more detailed, okay, other than pulling in all these other energies. But you guys are manifesting exactly what you want. Just like my Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, you guys could be dealing with a water sign. I mean, y'all are both in the process of going for exactly what you want, even if it means that somebody has to be left behind. But I feel strongly for a select few of you that you may be sabotaging a relationship to a pure and genuine soulmate because you may be reminiscing about the past and what is going on in the past instead of worried about the present, okay? Clarify this Five of Swords from my Virgos, please. All right, you guys, the King of Summer, honorable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted, a romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, Getting involved in a cultural or a creative endeavor. So a lot of you are being asked to step outside of your comfort zones. Do something different. Meet with new people. Okay, go to different environments. Surround yourselves with something different than what you guys are used to. And in doing so, it's going to open up a whole new... Uh, exactly. It's going to open up a whole new life for you guys. With this Ten of Swords, um, things are coming to an end. Cycles are coming to an end. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. Congratulations. This is the end of a very toxic cycle for a lot of you. And this is exactly what you guys have been waiting for. But for those of you who are dealing with this situation over here, you need to step in your higher power. Because like the Cancer, um, Pisces, and Scorpio, you guys... They're not standing in their higher power. This could be you. This could be uh, one of the energies you are involved with. But you guys are not living up to your full potential because you're so worried about what you have lost along the way. Okay? And spirit is needing you to seriously step out of that energy so you do not lose what is to gain in the future and the present. Okay? Because you guys uh, are going to have great things coming your way. Things that I feel like you guys would not even expect, you're not going to see it coming. Because you guys may be in a very dark space right now, but you're not going to see this light that's coming to you. I strongly feel that way, you guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do you have from my Virgos? Earth. That is your guys' sign, Earth. And that is the card that come out. That is an Earth sign, you guys. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So I believe you guys are being asked to really take a step away from material things. You guys are all about abundance. You guys are all about living um, your best life. 
You guys settle for no less. But I think what Spirit is asking you guys to do is to take a step back and focus on your inner peace. Focus on getting to know who you really are and not who others expect you to be. Okay? You guys are being asked to understand that you are a gem. You are a diamond. You yourself are a gift to earth. If you are unlocked, like if you guys unlock this key to your potential, okay, you guys have potential to change the way that people see or view things. Like you guys are leaders. You are not followers, whoever I am talking to. But there is a certain energy of egotistic that some of you guys are needing to step out of and embrace your inner strength because you are meant to be different. You are not meant to be like everybody else, okay? All right, you guys. And when you do so, look at this gift of light that she's holding in her hand. When you guys do so, you will be gifted with complete eternal joy and abundance, okay, you guys? This is your girl, Divine Femme here. I'm wishing you guys nothing but peace, love, light, eternal joy, abundance, and prosperity, you guys. Um, if you guys would like a personal read, please check the description link down below for that information. And also, if you guys would like to donate or support to this channel, and I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart who have liked, shared, subscribed, donated, and supported to my channel, you guys. I would not be where I am without you, okay? I love each and every single one of you guys, and... Y'all holla if you need me, okay? Remember to be somebody's blessing and not their problem, okay? Peace, love, and light, you guys. Mwah.